Hi friends, I hope you are well this day. This is the beginning of the season of Ramadan, the holiest month of the year in Islam. And someone sent me a blog post from Dr. Edward Gulan. Dr. Gulan is the uh, cleric, the Turkish cleric, who has been um, kind of a thorn in the side of the current Turkish government, and he lives in exile in the United States. He writes this about the beginning of Ramadan. He says, each of us should take the extra time and space afforded by the pandemic's social distancing as an opportunity for further examination of our connection with God, our families, and our core values. This is like a mandatory retreat from the busy nature of our daily lives. It's a chance to turn toward God and toward deepening our faith and knowledge and practice. The challenges of responding to the pandemic, he says, and altering our lives might push some of us to seek people to blame or to criticize. But it is imperative as we enter Ramadan that we devote ourselves instead to helping those in need, not finding others to blame. We are all members of the human family. Each of us has the opportunity now to show the true potential of humanity. It's crucial, he says, that we look forward with hope and not despair. Our observation of Ramadan, he says this year, will be necessarily different. But in many ways, it will be like any other year. We will fast, we will pray, we will recite our holy book, and we will take time for reflection and charity throughout the month. May God be with us, he says to his followers. I also read this this morning from Sister Joan Chittister, a Catholic nun who I, whose words of wisdom I read often. She says, only those who can help us remember that life itself is a gift too precious to waste can bring us back to the fullness of ourselves. Our saviors are not people with magical life skills. They are people who help us to make the best out of life as it is. It doesn't matter what religious tradition you come from. That is true, no matter what. I know we've gotten news this week of a longer shelter in place time than we expected. If you are having difficulty with that, if you feel like you are at the end of your rope, there's a place on the front page of the LAUMC website where you can go to a list that says, I need help. And in that list is a note that says, I am struggling and I need a pastor or a congregational care minister to call me. Please don't hesitate to go to that box and say that if that's what you need. We will be okay, every one of us, if we are in this together. And if you need some extra help right now, please don't be afraid to ask. We are all in this together, no matter what.